This is the Marvel Infinite Series Ultimate Spider-Man. The figure is part of the second wave of the 2015 Marvel Infinite Series of figures and sixth wave overall, I think. We got four in 2014, right? I'm getting two right now for 2015. Okay, here is the packaging. A few of the guys in the assortment. Ultimate Spider-Man, obviously from the Ultimate Universe, Universe 1216. This is the African-American Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Yeah, Miles Morales. He's supposed to be a kid, like not even 15, maybe 15, but something like 13 or 14, something like that. He's very young. But the body sculpt that they used for this particular Ultimate Spider-Man is an adult male spider uh, adult male body mold or adult spider-man mold why i have no idea he comes with a backpack full of stuff that belongs to i guess peter parker camera purple jacket uh, sneakers i'm not sure if miles morales was a photographer was he in the ultimate universe i i, I really don't know. I think Hasbro was just lazy. They just gave him this. But backpack is still better than that web thingy thing that you attach to his arms. Okay, one thing I'm really happy with this figure is that they did not use the big time Spider Man, the Marvel Infinite Series big time Spider Man mold. Very nice. However, a bit disappointed they didn't use a smaller mold because Miles is a kid. This is the old, the very first Spider Man mold that they're using. This is a more common spider-man mold that they're using they've used i mean they're great molds i don't understand why they had to go ahead and reinvent the wheel but that's that's that so paint apps on this figure not too bad actually um it turned out pretty pretty nice um the silver on the mask the red the webbing very very neatly done well done hasbro uh, for that, I'm going to give you an applause. So, uh, yeah. The figure is uh, articulated enough, has enough articulation for it to be a Spider-Man figure. It's got a ball-jointed neck, ball-jointed upper torso, a waist swivel. Can you believe it? They didn't use that solid torso mold. Ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, hinge elbow, Swivel forearm, that I don't understand why. They could have used a ball hinge wrist. Ball jointed hips. Double jointed knees. Ball hinge ankles with the, you know, no rocker joint. Just ball hinge. This is an old Marvel Universe mold. Um, this is possibly new. This is probably from a G.I. Joe. I have no idea. Or another Spider-Man figure. You know... Uh, there have already been very, very good Spider-Man figure mold. I don't understand why they'd want to use this one to create a new one. But what can you do? So, all in all, the figure is looking good. It's actually looking like one of the better figures in the wave. I've, I haven't seen the Daredevil. I mean, I haven't bought the Daredevil yet. I have no plans on buying Thunderstrike unless it's on clearance. But... It's not too bad. This figure will get, despite the weird articulation, because of the nice paint apps, and despite the wrong body mold proportion to Miles Morales, the figure is still going to get a decent eight, eight. Um, I want to say eight and a half, but let's just give it a very high eight over ten. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Very, very well done indeed, uh, Hasbro. And uh, you know what? I, I hope you know. You, you come to your senses and realize that uh, articulation for the figure is definitely very, very important, even for kids. <laughs> there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, Shafatron. This is where I do all my video reviews, for, video reviews for Marvel, Transformers, Star Wars, maybe some Joes and a few others, whatnot. Uh, Follow me here on YouTube, Chefatron. I am on Twitter for my toy purchases. That's FX Friends. I'm on Instagram for my local toy sightings here in Manila. That's also an FX Friends, but YouTube is Chefatron. Marvel Infinite Series Ultimate Spider-Man. Thanks for watching.